as a woman in a leadership position, other women look at me. And, and it's interesting because it's something that I became progressively aware through my career. And I, um, I certainly realized that there, there were challenges in, in the way that women get treated versus men. Uh, when, when the director of Brookhaven National Laboratory asked me whether I would consider being the chairman of the medical department, there was a move of the male scientists to go and complain that they should not allow this because I was a woman. And, and these things that we look at it in sort of retrospectively, I say, how could that be? Well, that was the way it was in the past. And the process is not as obvious now, but there's still a lot of impediments that the women have to, to do in order to advance. And so I'm always trying within the position where I am to create an environment where there's no discrimination whatsoever, where there's equal opportunity between males and females. And so you create an environment where then women feel very comfortable and they excel. And more women attract more women. So now I have a cadre of extraordinary leading women in the National Institute on Drug Abuse. They are extraordinary. And it's not that I set up myself and saying it, but it, there is a natural progression by which you create an environment where people feel comfortable. They will come and they will accept.